what would happen if we just forgave 1.3 trillion, okay? And we use this model and we use this model. And the models told us a very similar story. And the mm -hmm. story is that the impact on the budget deficit would be rather trivial, around a half a percent of GDP. That's not too bad. So imagine your budget deficit is 3%, now it's 3.5%. That's a pretty good deal That's for wiping deal. the debt away from 44 million Americans, right? And, and stimulating the economy. And stimulating the, the economy time. and adding to real GDP in a way that puts you better off than you would have been otherwise, mm -hmm. reduces unemployment. So the employment rate, if you like, is higher than it would have been without the cancellation. The impact on inflation, now if you had a terrible inflation effect because yeah. all of a sudden people had all of this income and they spent it into the economy and the economy couldn't keep up and you caused an inflation problem, you say that was a really dumb thing to do. But both models tell us that the impact on inflation would be trivial. In fact, the Federal Reserve would probably tell you that they'd like to see a bigger impact on inflation yeah. because the Fed's been struggling to hit its own inflation target. In other words, the Fed wants more inflation in the economy than we currently have. Right. And so a program like this, while it doesn't add much to inflation, about a third of a percentage point, it would help the Fed, in a sense, achieve its own uh, mandate. So very on the stuff that you don't want to see happen, inflation and that sort of thing, you get a very minor impact. And on the stuff you do want to see happen, employment and output, you get a pretty significant impact.